Suppose that we sorted out 100 people by height, from the shortest to the tallest. And now another person comes about and we want to fit him in the proper order in the sorted out list. The question that we ask is, is it a, a big deal? How big is the effort to find the spot where this new person fits in the list of 100 sorted out people by height? So one way to do, to uh, fit this person is to compare him to the shortest person. If he's taller than the shortest person, we check him against uh, the second shortest person. And if he's still taller than that person, we compare him to the third, the fourth, until we find the first person in the list that is taller than the new person and then we know where to fit this person so if we are lucky and the new person is uh, uh, shorter than the shortest in the list it will take us one step comparing to the first find out that he's shorter make him the shortest person job done if we are unlucky, then uh, we will have to check and check and check up to the 100th person. What does it mean, unlucky, that the new person is the tallest? And in that case, all the, the test, all the comparison will yield another comparison until we finish the list. So if we are lucky, it will take one comparison one step if we're unlucky it will take 100 on average it will take 50 so 50 steps to fit a person in a sorted list of 100 now think of another procedure instead of comparing the new person with the shortest or the tallest to begin with and work our way through the list, we will choose a step one comparing this new person with number 50 on the list. Then this comparison will tell us if this new person is on the upper list, 50 to 100, or the lower list, 1 to 49. Once we know which block this new person is, we can do to this new block the same thing that we have done to the original list. Cut it in half, compare the new person to the person in the middle of the new block, and then divide this block to two again. And continue dividing and dividing until we find the spot where this new person fits. If you will try this out on 100 people, you find out that you will need only seven steps to fit this person into the list. So before we had 50, now we have seven. So the second procedure, procedure B we should call it, is more efficient than the first one, procedure A. Now, what does it mean for cryptography? It means that if we use intractability-based cryptography, meaning cryptography where we believe that while the adversary can eventually solve the problem, crack the cipher, it will take him too long. It will be too hard a problem for this to be effective in the real time. And this is based on the assumption that we could guess what method our adversary will use. So if we expect him to use procedure A 
on something like fitting a person in a sorted list because we were not smart enough mathematically to conceive of procedure B. Then we are, we are going to lose because our adversary who finds procedure B will crack the cipher much faster than we expect him to. And that's the relationship between complexity theory that asks these questions of how complex a problem is, how much more complex it becomes when we add the number of items in the problem. So the uh, procedure in procedure A that we discussed, the, uh, we need on average uh, n divided to 2 where n is the number of items we used 100. Procedure B requires log n which is a much smaller number than n to accomplish the same things. Now complexity theory deals with issues or problems where the complexity is much greater. In the case that we discussed to fit another person in a sorted list, there is no way that this new person will change anything, any order in the list that was pre-ordered before that person came. We just have to fit him in. But if you take another problem, a famous problem is the, uh, uh, the traveling salesman that needs to visit 10 cities in a week and uh, is looking for the shortest path. What is the sequence of uh, cities or destination for him to visit so that the total travel will be the shortest? If you think about this issue and you find the shortest for 10 cities and you add then an 11th city, this new city can disrupt the entire sequence, which is the optimum. Not, it's not just a question of where to fit the new city or the added item, but it is a question of rethinking the whole problem again, which is much more complex. So these are some of the issues that uh, the uh, mathematics of complexity theory is dealing with.